Welcome back everyone with the sun finally shining again and warmer temperatures we hope on the way. Chances are many of you are going to be at area greenhouses this weekend stocking up on the plants that you really want to get into the ground. But here today from Johansson's greenhouse is Lynn Johansson. Lynn, first of all, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. It thanks is, for having me. You're absolutely welcome. I, I know what the greenhouses are like this time of year. There's so many people just really want to get back out into the yard and are so wanting to see the flowers come back up and uh, really dig into their gardens. So before you get too far ahead of yourself and plant some things that aren't ready for the cool temperatures that we're still going to have, what, where would you suggest people start? Everything we have here is what we call cool flowers or vegetables. This little display over here is all perennials. I brought this in honor of the royal wedding. Kate had these in her bouquet. So these are forget-me-nots? White forget-me-nots, perennials. Okay. They'll come back every year. Bleeding hearts and just a couple of other things. All of these you can plant now. These are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? So these are all, you're going to see these in area greenhouses yes, right now. Yes, you'll see these in area greenhouses. Okay, what do we have here? These are asparagus roots. It's time to plant those now. And asparagus, when you plant this, does it come up then that year? No, you you, to... it will come up the first year, but you want to wait two to three years to harvest. And actually okay. it comes up from here. Okay. These are the roots. Okay. Potatoes. Mm -hmm. And you slice your potatoes. I brought this along for the person who doesn't have room in their garden for their potatoes. You can actually plant them in this bag and then harvest them out of these little handy doors, which is kind of interesting. Really? Yeah. You just cut them into a couple pieces and plant those. Onion sets. I've never had, you know, I've... I've always had a big garden, and I've never had a lot of luck growing onions. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably plant them too deep. Too, too deep? Too close? Yeah. Okay. Vegetables here. We have lettuce. We have Brussels sprouts, Swiss chard, which is new on the market. Okay, this, if you have kids, is really fun because if you've never grown Brussels sprouts, and, and I never liked eating them as a kid, so the last thing I wanted to do was plant them in my garden. Uh, but actually, if, if they're done right, they're good. So, um, but they grow huge talk about they look like aliens yeah they, <laughs> they do a lot of the farmers market vendors are now selling yes. these big stalks and they're just it's cool to see plants like that I think for kids because they really kind of get a very visual display of what they're yeah. growing the right? seeds it's time to start all your seeds carrots radishes lettuces now it's time if you can't wait we've got spinach starts pansies. here pansies let me move this so you can walk over here Hydrangeas, this is the endless summer. It should bloom all summer long. It's beautiful, come back every year. So this will come back every year? Yes. This is a perennial? That's a perennial, nice. yes. Okay. Most important piece of advice you have for folks that really want to get out right now? Plant the appropriate things and ask questions. Okay, and you'll be good. This this whole table will be well worth the yes, money spent. Yes, it will be <laughs> well worth it. <laughs> it won't kill us. <laughs> all right, Lynn, it's always great to see you. Thanks so much. Happy Thank gardening. You. I know you guys are going to be really busy this we weekend, hope. so we enjoy hope. it. All right.